Hi everyone to my assembly level language tutorial. Now in my previous movies I have told what computer understands and what we understand and wh what is assembly language actually. Um, so let's move on. Now to let's get started what to use to start start coding in assembly level language. Now as you have got that the assembler is needed to you know to convert our mnemonics uh, add to certain binary values S and those assembler constrain some rules and um, those rules are uh, you can um, grant them as languages so in our case we would be using NASM assembler uh, this is a very nice assembler and very easy to learn and there is another assembler that you will get and very popular one that is AS in the Linux system now we need the loader uh, to load the object module now different platforms have different more of loaders uh, so what what actually we are doing here first we are making the assembly level length source code and then we are uh, passing it through the assembler and making an object module but the object module is residing in your hard disk so we have to bring it onto the memory uh, as you know every to execute any program you need to bring it onto the memory and to bring it onto the memory we need a loader and then this module what you will get that is obviously platform dependent and that's why you can uh, say that assembly level language is something opposite to the uh, portable thing so I will tell you that uh, why it is this opposite of the portable one why we need such a language actually and I have shown this tutorials on the Linux uh, but you know things go well in uh, Windows too as long as they have uh, their NSM assembler distribution uh, in another movie I will tell you how you can install them now let's move on to the next slide now this is a big question that why you would be using assembler language now as I have told earlier that every compiler uh, maps your source code into assembly language so once you get rid of it you will understand any language that you want to so obviously uh, it will make you a better programmer at least uh, it made me a better programmer after going to the assembly language and there are certain situations as you can see um, uh, when you will have no option except assembly language so say when you are using C or Java or C++ whatever else uh, you have to use a compiler but think about a situation in real-time system or in embedded system you don't have a compiler even uh, people will just tell you to burn the code right in the chip right in the microprocessor so there is only option you have assembler language and only assembler language can talk directly with the hardware now this is a very vital uh, thing because you know you you are, you always often encounter that this program this performs better this program has a better speed so if you want to enhance the quality uh, of copying so assembly language is the thing for you because in when you are using C or Java whatever else they rely on the assembly clothes that has been previously put into the operating system itself so I guess uh, you have a nice idea now why you should be using assembly and what you should be using I and the answer is NSM and I guess you will be happy to use assembly language um, hope you will enjoy the course very much um, from now on uh, by the way, thanks for watching this video, stick on to the next one.